In iOS 12, Do Not Disturb has better controls. It has new features like bedtime mode, and you can also set it for smaller amounts of time. So if you're in a meeting, or you don't want to be disturbed until you leave your current location, or you're in the movies, or you're at dinner, you can set more granular time. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Do Not Disturb in iOS 12. So from settings, to go to Do Not Disturb and tap Do Not Disturb to turn it on. And when you turn on Do Not Disturb, you need a schedule so it knows when to turn off your iPad and when to wake it up. When Do Not Disturb is enabled, previous to iOS 12, you wouldn't receive any calls and notifications would come in silently. So to set up a schedule, you tap Schedule, and you can change the times when you want Do Not Disturb to be enabled and when you want it to end, just by tapping and changing the scroll wheel. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to change it so I can demonstrate it. It's the middle of the day when I'm recording it. So I'll just change the start time. You can tap to start the end time. To view the new options, open the control center and tap and hold. Do not disturb. And you get some granular options. Setting it for one hour is especially useful if you're in a meeting or watching a movie at the cinema. You won't forget to turn this off and miss important incoming messages as Do Not Disturb will turn itself off automatically after one hour. And you've got another one there until it's evening. So if you want a, a bigger block of time, and that's a little bit vaguer because it doesn't sort of say when this evening is. You can Do Not Disturb at a location. So thanks to geofencing on the iPad, you can turn on Do Not Disturb when you leave your present location. So that's useful when you're in a meeting or you don't want to be disturbed by your notifications during your workday. When you leave your current location, Do Not Disturb will turn off automatically. It also syncs with calendar events. So at the moment, I've got a, a lunch date in the calendar, which is, which is scheduled right in the middle of the Do Not Disturb time. So if you've got a birthday party or a dentist appointment or have got an important meeting schedule in your calendar, you can enable Do Not Disturb to coincide with these events to last for the duration of the event. This lunch is going to be finished at 5.20. It's a long lunch. And Do Not Disturb will then turn itself off automatically. Now, the only thing you have to remember for calendar events is that just before your event or once you're in your event, turn on this setting. So go into the control center long press on the do not disturb icon and then tap until the end of this meeting when you turn on the lock screen oh you'll get that message you can still open your ipad all do not disturb does is silence notifications and calls now the other setting in do not disturb is bedtime mode and when you turn that on and it needs to be used in conjunction with a schedule when bedtime mode is enabled, the lock screen will dim, calls will be silenced, notifications will appear in the notification center. They won't appear on the lock screen until that do not disturb mode ends. So here's the scenario. You wake up in the middle of the night, you open your iPad, see what time it is. You've enabled do not disturb. So you haven't heard any alerts from notifications, emails or messages because they've come in silently. However, what you do see are the many notifications just sitting in your lock screen waiting for you to deal with them. So it's 30 minutes later and you're wide awake. When you enable bedtime, the display is dimmed so it won't blind you with bright light. Your lock screen will go black and hide all notifications. Instead, you'll see a screen that tells you that your iPad's in do not disturb mode and all notifications will be sent to the notification center. I can't see any notifications. I can't open the notification center either. Unless I actually bypass that and unlock it and then bring them down that way. When you set bedtime mode, basically your iPad will leave you alone for the night. When you unlock your iPad, the screen will return to normal brightness and you can access all the notifications by pulling down the notification center. Note that if you haven't scheduled a time frame for Do Not Disturb, bedtime will not work.